Sweet and juicy peaches and nectarines, just $2.99 per pound. Save $4 on fresh USDA bone and ribeye steaks, $15.99 per pound. Schmidt Old Time Honey Wheat Sliced Bread, $4.49 for 20 ounce loaf. Wishbone salad dressings, only $3.25 for select varieties of 15 ounce bottles. Select varieties of 128 ounce bottles. Arizona iced tea, just $5.99. Have a happy and safe Heroes Day holiday from the marketplace. You're watching Bermuda Tonight. It's Friday the 15th of June. I'm Jasmine Patterson and thanks for joining us tonight. Two Bermudian men have been remanded in custody on terrorism charges in the UK. That's according to the Sun newspaper. The men are identified as Hisham Mohammed, age 24, and Faisal Abu Ahmed, age 23. The paper says Mohammed appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court accused of preparing terrorist acts, while Ahmed is accused of failing to tell police about Mohammed's plans. Mohammed is suspected of planning to attack a police or military target. It's reported the alleged plot was only discovered after their landlord attempted to evict them from the flat they shared. Police were called to the scene and allegedly found material supporting the so-called Islamic State on a number of electronic devices. The men are scheduled to appear at the Old Bailey on June 29th. It's understood the Bermuda Police Service is looking into the claims against the two men. A Facebook group calling themselves Supporting Fair Immigration Reform is calling on the government to move forward with promised reforms to the island's immigration system. The call comes after the government announced that November 4th, 2019, will be a public holiday in honor of the Portuguese in Bermuda. A statement from the group said the move was welcomed by the Portuguese community, but expressed concern that the holiday is being used as a distraction. Spokesperson Lisa Raposo spoke to Tritrot. I think that we can do better. I think we can do more for this sector of the community. I think that when we're looking back at pathways to status, you know, there's, there's a lot to be done there. Um, you know, we agree wholeheartedly uh, with the need to protect Bermuda for Bermudians. However, as we have always said, this should extend to persons who are thoroughly Bermudian in their hearts and who know no other home than Bermuda. But for whom the law has failed to make a provision for, you know, make provisions. You know, we have Bermudians that cannot pass their citizenship to their children, their grandchildren, due to the age restrictions that our corn immigration laws have in place. The pressure group says nothing has been done on the subject of immigration reform since a working group submitted its report last October to Home Affairs Minister Walton Brown, Jr. Nothing further has been released to the public. Mr. Brown did say at the time that he had hoped for uh, new legislation would be brought to Parliament as early as February of this year, but nothing has been brought to Parliament at all. So, you know, we, we just want to see this sector, uh, you know, this issue dealt with. Um, we appreciate the holiday, absolutely we do, but, you know, we'd like to see this, this dealt with, the, refor the immigration reform um, and the, the the status issues that we're having dealt with. For those who have not been following immigration reform closely lately, is it the case that your group believes that family members who face uncertainty here should be granted Bermudian status? Well, yeah. I mean, you have families who have different immigration status. For example, you may have a mother and father who are either PRC or may have status, but yet their child cannot get status. And so then they become 18 years old, they're saying, well, you have to leave. You can't stay here. Or they need to apply for a work permit to stay here. So, <clears throat> again, I, I don't think it's fair. Um, I, I just think that we need to do better with this. We'll have more for you after this short break, including Tiny the Tree Frog takes to the air terminal, plus all the latest weather news. Stay with us.
Value packed fresh Purdue chicken thighs, $1.99 per pound. Juicy red ripe seedless watermelons, $15.99 each. Only $1.70 for an 18 ounce bottle of select varieties of open pit barbecue sauce. Save $1.01 on Kraft mayonnaise, $5.79 for a 30 ounce jar. Selected varieties of Purex laundry detergent, $4.99 for a 50 ounce bottle. Visit our website at www.marketplace.pm for more super specials. You can count on us. Surface Trends has been serving Bermuda for over 25 years, supplying and installing tile and natural stone. We have a large and stock selection of beautiful porcelain wood planking, including our exclusive Bermuda cedar tile. You will also find Bermuda's best in stock selection of countertops, including natural granites, exotic quartzites, and sile stone engineered quartz in all the newest colors. Our team will be happy to help you. Stop by our showroom at 17 Serpentine Road or give us a call at 295-8005. JBM Realty & Associates services all your real estate needs. Our agents have years of real estate experience specializing in selling of properties, renting of properties, property management, vacation rental. So whether you're looking to move to another location, selling your home, purchasing a new home, or a landlord looking for assistance in managing your property, give us a call today. One of our experienced agents will be more than willing to assist you with all your housing needs. Call us on 234-2050 or visit our website jbmrealtyandassociates.com Welcome back. The government says it will ensure the proper use of funds provided by fintech companies seeking to establish operations in Bermuda. Speaking in the House of Assembly today, David Burt, the Premier and Minister of Finance, said a fintech development fund is to be established. Mr. Speaker, it is proposed that disbursements from the fund will be with the approval of the Minister of Finance and the Minister responsible for e-commerce, subject to the consultation with the Minister responsible for workforce development and, where necessary, consultation with the ministers responsible for youth development, health, and sports. Mr. Speaker, it is further proposed that money shall be dispersed from the fund on the following criteria. One, to support educational programs or initiatives providing training for Bermudians in software engineering and distributed ledger technology. Two, to support the development of regulatory compliance capacity in fintech and distributed ledger technology. Three, to support the activities of any advisory board appointed under any act or otherwise in support of fintech and distributed ledger technology. Four, to support such community-based initiatives or organizations in the area of youth development, sporting clubs, health care, or seniors care. And five, such other educational initiatives as may appear to the Minister of Finance to be relevant for the development of fintech and distributed ledger technology in Bermuda. Mr. Burt also assured members of the House that government is taking a guarded approach in dealing with fintech companies seeking to establish here, as government moves to create a third pillar of the economy. We are in no way deterred from our goals by these criticisms and attempts to cast doubt in the minds of the people. There are steps to be taken in growing an economy, and we are following those steps in a prudent manner, engaging best practice and advice in the development of legislation and regulations in support of fintech and digital asset business. No step in this process has been taken without the involvement of the Bermuda Monetary Authority, whose reputation as a regulator is exemplary. For the avoidance of doubt, every company seeking to engage in a digital asset business in Bermuda must meet all of the criteria established by the BMA. Mr. Speaker, Bermuda is doing what it does best, building a sound regulatory environment for an emerging global industry. Bermuda's leadership in establishing a strong regulatory regime is the very reason that companies are interested in bringing their fintech businesses to Bermuda. 
weather now and a sunny evening tonight. Will Heroes Weekend see more sunshine? Let's find out over at the AccuWeather headquarters. AccuWeather is presented by BFNM Insurance Group. We now go to AccuWeather headquarters. We have somewhat of an active forecast for you here on ZBM, but we first want to salute our friends at the BFNM Insurance Group as they do sponsor this uh, forecast update. Uh, we are dealing with some extra disturbed weather nearby. There's an area of low pressure riding along a front, and that area of low pressure is just off to our west. Here's the water vapor loop, and this kind of gives us uh, almost like an X-ray of the atmosphere from about 22,000 miles uh, away out into outer space. And uh, this uh, gives us the indication of that swirl of low pressure to our south and west, uh, and this front that is generally in the area, just off to the west and northwest right now. Here's the in infrared satellite loop as we kind of uh, take another glance at things and this is looking at the temperature of the cloud tops and tall clouds get real cold if you go high enough upstairs and that's where you see the more vibrant colors that's where we have pretty good substantial shower and thunderstorm action in general uh, and the clouds are reflecting some of that to the northwest you can see that there are still some showers and uh, that uh, is uh, seen here with this radar estimated rainfall with uh, the uh, increasing showers in the area we do have a thunderstorm advisory in effect as issued by our friends at the Bermuda Weather Service temperatures 80 to 81 across uh, our part of uh, the world right now across the island humidity is at 81 percent as well Wind in southwest 15 to 18 knots water temp is a nice warm 80 degree reading so the air temp and the uh, water temp are within a degree or so of one another on the inside we have one to two foot waves still a little bit tumultuous with this front nearby though with three to five footers on the outside so our current weather alerts a thunderstorm advisory is in effect through tonight and then a small craft warning for our boating friends continues until Saturday morning. So be careful out there. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. There could be some thunderstorms in the area. Showers, uh, a very high likelihood as well. Uh, and we'll be uh, only cooling down to 73. So a small craft warning accompanies that uh, thunderstorm advisory. High tide is coming up at 10.53 tonight. Low tide, 5.32. The tide comes back in at midday tomorrow, 11.19 specifically. And then we have a nice late afternoon low tide at 5.25 p.m. on your Saturday. And around that time, boating weather should be improving. More clouds than sun, still breezy out there on your Saturday. And look out for showers and even a thunderstorm that may linger into the afternoon hours. Uh, we also have storms into Atlanta and Miami, London, some wet weather there. Now, we're heating up into the eastern and northeastern part of North America. New York, Toronto, Boston, all on the warm side. Down into the Caribbean. Great day in Jamaica Saturday. Scattered showers in Barbados and Trinidad and also into Tobago. We're still keeping an eye on this weak area of low pressure, slowly trudging across the Yucatan Peninsula. It probably won't get a name, but it may bring some extra rain into areas like Texas and Louisiana in the United States into early parts of next week. So, stormy Saturday. And then it looks great. Dry, warm. Pretty pleasant, warm nights, Tuesday and Wednesday. Back to you guys. AccuWeather was presented by BFNM Insurance Group. My name is Kevin Roberts. I'm a taxi driver slash ambassador. My father's with BFNM, so am I. My half of my family always been seen to be with Bermuda Fire I tried a different provider at one time, but I wasn't too happy with the competition. Because back then it took too long to settle claims. They questioned every claim, and I never really had that problem with BFNM. I'm quite happy with it.
football fans, if you were unable to see the live action of the 2018 FIFA World Cup from Russia, Bermuda Broadcasting Company would like to take this opportunity to inform our valued viewers. We will rebroadcast all 64 matches of the 2018 FIFA World Cup from Russia on ZFB TV7 nightly. The rebroadcast will start at 8 p.m. and end in the early hours of the next morning. This will coincide with the FIFA daily schedule. Welcome back. Girls of primary school age should learn the importance of detecting breast cancer symptoms, and mammogram screenings for young women should begin at 35, not 40, as is commonly the case now. Those are two of the key messages from a New York-based charity, First Company Pink. It's a non-profit organization focused on the prevention of cancer. It's taking part in a major breast and ovarian cancer conference being held here in Bermuda. We're specific to early prevention early prevention. We are now teaching breast health in um, middle school through high school. We want to catch the children before they go off to college and there's no safety net. Early prevention is the key to survival. Their message is clear. It's never too early to learn about breast cancer and the importance of self-examination. Linda and Donna use their own experience battling cancer to empower themselves and others about taking control of their health. The charity says passive terms such as awareness and survivor are no longer helpful to the new generation. They prefer to talk of realization, education and action. It's not impactful enough. You know, we've been hearing and there, has, there hasn't been any results until the past three years we've been on board with God check, meaning this is a question that demands an answer to yes, no. So this forces you almost to take action, whether you have it in that moment, subliminal kinds of pokes at you a little bit later on when you have that conversation with your daughter or your girlfriend, do something about it. Their latest campaign aims to make legislative changes to lower the screening age to 35 to tackle the rise in women under 40 being diagnosed with the disease. Our campaign is called Got Checked. That's the name of our campaign. We have made great strides in New York State politically uh, with a seeking a national Got Checked Day. We're also looking into a uh, um, law that will lower mammogram age to uh, 35 for our Gen Y generation. And um, also we're looking for a breast health mandate for New York State so that we can cover our millennials and a Gen Z generation. It's also important for them to reach as many people as possible, including men and boys, as one in 1,000 men get breast cancer. We don't care who you are, what you do, where you're from. We don't look at any, you know, walk of life or anything, you know, specific to a person. You know, we're into civil rights before even having women's rights. We can't really, you know, we're all human. So it's no soldier left behind. For us, it's very important to remember that. Um, also, we are the only one that target prevention as early as elementary school. Listen to Liddy is one character-based learning tool that is used to educate young girls on the importance of getting breast examinations. We always tell them, listen, if you're going to tell your mother to go get checked, chances are she's listening to you. She's not listening to her girlfriend, but she's going to listen to her children. So you have that responsibility. It's a community disease. It is not just a woman, pink ribbon, charade. It's a community disease. If you're a husband, you lost a wife, and you have to take care of your children, that's your problem too. Educating children on what breast cancer is and how to help its prevention is invaluable, and ignoring the facts can be fatal. Remove the fear. Don't be ignorant. Unfortunately, there is anyone that's pardoned from this disease, young and old, doesn't matter, color, gender, how much money you make. So, you know, sometimes I always say, listen to the whisper. You know, sometimes your body gives you signals and you kind of know, but you ignore it because you just figure it's not me, it's somewhere far away, or you're ignorant enough to think it will never happen to me. All those, those two are not unacceptable. Authentic Bermuda-made products are front and center at the newest duty-free shop at Ella Wade International Airport. Skyport and concessionaires Goslings this week held a ribbon-cutting ceremony to officially launch the renovated store in the U.S. Departure Lounge. Visitors have the chance now to take one last impression of the island with them on the journey home. The U.S. Departures Lounge has recently undergone a facelift to help boost sales of authentic Bermuda products for departing guests. Charles Gosling has taken over the space, which is selling duty-free staples such as alcoholic drinks, 
cigars, perfume, and also souvenirs. We're really trying to, to up, the, um, up the value of, and, and the quality of, of the items which were um, uh, available uh, to, to the traveler. Uh, so we've been able to uh, tie in with um, uh, companies like uh, Permutees, uh, with um, uh, A.S. Coopers and the Vineyard Vines, with Tabs. Uh, we're expanding our selection with uh, Lily Bermuda and a whole, whole bunch of other Bermuda companies. And I'd like to say that this is an opportunity for uh, people who are producing uh, what I would call true Bermuda products. And travelers appear keen on both the facelift and the products, with sales up by around 40% compared to the former shop. Shoppers even have the chance to take with them a beloved Bermudian character, Tiny the Tree Frog, who's returned after a brief hiatus. I wrote um, this book, my bestseller. I wrote that in 1990, so he has been around for quite a few years. And what do you believe is about the book that, that captures so many people's imagination? Um, I've been told that because Tiny is such a little vulnerable character, children relate to him. And of course, he, he enjoys Bermuda. Everything I write is pretty much honoring Bermuda, trying to show the beauty to kids, how lucky we are to live here. The duty-free shopping lounge is just one of the latest upgrades to Elif Wade International Airport as construction on the new terminal carries on. It recently had its air conditioning system repaired to ensure good airflow through the summer months. Skyport says it's important to reinvest in the current facility over the next two years, with 1.8 million passengers set to travel through it. We felt that it was important to enhance the overall passenger experience. And so we're in the process of investing in new air conditioning units to improve the air quality uh, in the terminal building. But part and parcel to the overall experience is the shopping experience. And so we wanted to work with Bermuda Duty Free to open up the store, make it a bit more open and vibrant, uh, and, and, and try and stimulate more impulse purchasing. And, and I think we've been able to do that. So it's quite happy, we're quite happy to see see this day come about. And the shopping area could see even more Bermudian products on display soon, with Goslings and Skyport saying they'll happily talk to anyone who's interested in selling authentically Bermudian products at the store. Still to come, Earl Bazin has all the details of tonight's domestic sports action. Check out the great products at our $4 Depot stores. Party bags candles, soaps, and a variety of health and beauty items, even candy. A number of kitchen items, aluminum baking pans, an assortment of socks in various sizes, even baby products. For choice of items for only $2.50 each. Stop by any of our four stores today. The Dollar Depot, stretching your dollars further. Will Germany defend their FIFA World Cup title, or will we have a new winner? Witness all the action as 32 teams go head-to-head -head for a supremacy for the coveted title. Bermuda Broadcasting Company is pleased to present 2018 FIFA World Cup live from Russia. From June 14th through July 15th, join us for the 21st edition of this historical event. Exclusively on ZFB TV 7 and ZBM TV 9. Keep it locked in for all 64 games that include pre-game and halftime shows and much more. More, more, more. 2018 FIFA World Cup, live from Russia, is brought to you by Colonial Group International, Butterfield, Lindo's Group of Companies, and Bermuda Motors. Events around the Bermuda Heroes Weekend are already underway, with over 20 parties scheduled over the next three days. But before the fetting begins, we asked people in Hamilton to tell us who their Bermudian heroes were. It's Bermuda Heroes Weekend, a celebration of the island's national icons. So we wanted to know who's been the biggest inspiration in your life. We asked who's your personal hero. Who's your personal hero? Alan Smith. See him up there? Come here, wouldn't you see him? We asked your wife who's her personal hero. She said you. You know who's your personal hero? 
the Lord up above. I'm my own personal hero, but I'm saying that Bermuda spirit this this holiday. Yeah. I would say Mr. Ottawa Simmons. Um, he did a lot, you know, um, under the leadership of Freddie Wade um, with the PLP, and um, I think he's he's done a lot for our country and and demonstrated that he's a good leader. Probably my mom. Yeah. My father. I'm already a hero. I I live every day, man. Keep it all for the youth, you know. Got nephew here, not my real nephew, but lunges in Bermuda, taking care of him. Was having fun, man. You know, positive vibes all day. I would say my parents um, could be my personal heroes and my grandparents who also helped to raise us. That's my mom because she just helped me do a lot of things. So it's my personal hero for my life. You feel me? My daughter. Actually, it's Lemonade, my daughter. She's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Buck Boris, Buck. I got a tattoo of him on my back and my leg. Buck 77. I'll say Roosevelt Braun. Um, yeah, he did a lot for Bermuda in terms of the rural stage, um, different watering mechanisms, and he introduced water conservation in Africa and whatnot, so yeah, Palau Carafongo, I think is his name. Sport now, and you of course can see a replay of the thrilling Spain-Portugal match on ZFB Channel 7 at 8 o'clock tonight. We won't give away the score in case you haven't seen it, but we can bring you the top Bermudian sports stories of the day. Here's Earl Basden. Bermuda Under-17 Women's International Footballer Leilani Nisbet moved one step closer to fulfilling her dream of playing football at a major university in the USA as she verbally committed to attend Florida State University. The highly sought-after attacking player had drawn much attention from U.S. universities at the recently concluded CONCACAF Under-17 Women's World Cup qualifiers held on the campuses of the IMG Academy. The tournament was abandoned at its first attempt in Nicaragua this past April and the move to complete the tournament in USA worked in her favor as many more coaches were able to attend the event due to its convenient location. One Communications and the Bermuda Cricket Board announced the One Communications Premier Division Player of the Week for Week 3 was Malachi Jones of Southampton Rangers. In the Southampton Rangers Week 3 match against St. George's Cricket Club, Jones played a pivotal role with both bat and bowl. Jones scored 55 off of 71 bowls with 5 fours opening the batting for Southampton Rangers. Jones then bowled 10 overs taking 4 wickets for 22 runs to complete the outstanding all-round performance. The Week 3 First Division Player of the Week was Deontay Darrell from Bermuda. Cuts. In the game against Cleveland County, Darrell scored a critical 76 runs off of 79 deliveries. He hit five fours and five sixes to help steer his team to a five-wicket victory. Earlier in the day, Darrell took one wicket for 46 runs. The Bermuda Napo Association Summer League season resumed at Bernard Park last evening with three matches on tap. PHC defeated the under-16 team 18-10. Bernika Simons led PHC with 11 goals, while Amaya Butterfield scored six goals for the Bermuda under-16 team. Kamala Nazir scored 19 goals to lead the Bermuda under-19 team to a 32-11 win over the BHB Angels. Charlene Bogo Gomez scored 10 goals for the BHB Angels. The BAC Women in Blue defeated the New Kids on the Court 29-14. Deborah Salters would lead the way for the BAC Women in Blue with 15 goals, while Daria Benjamin scored 14 goals for the new kids on the court. The second stop of the 2018 Mayor Nostrum Tour kicked off in Barcelona with former Bermuda Carifta Swimming Championship multiple medalist Emma Harvey representing Millfield. Harvey would finish 19th competing in the women's 50-meter butterfly and she touched the water in the time of 28-24. Harvey would then finish 46th competing in the women's 100-meter freestyle with a time of 59-84. Robin Horsfield competed in the Ontario Cycling Association's Ontario Cup Horseshoe Mountain Bike event. Horsfield competed in the Elite Men's Division, but it was not to be his day as he encountered mechanical issues. Horsfield would finish 42nd overall, representing the Hardwood Next Wave Cycling Team, three laps down, clocking 57-34. I'm Earl Basden with Bermuda Broadcasting Sports. And don't forget, you can follow every kick of the World Cup live on Bermuda Broadcasting. All the matches are live on ZFB Channel 7, and the games will be rebroadcast in the evenings from 8 o'clock onwards. We're also streaming all the action on our website, bermudabroadcasting.com. Click on 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia. 
Tomorrow sees four games, France and Argentina among the teams playing tomorrow. It's all made possible by our sponsors Colonial Group International, Butterfield, the Lindos Group of Companies and Bermuda Motors. And finally, it may only be a small part, but at least it's a start in show business. Yakira Rayner has landed a non-speaking role in a Cottonelle commercial that's going to be shown internationally. She's the little girl with braids sitting in the middle here. Her great aunt Darlene Bean Walls got in touch to say how proud she is of the family's new star. Bigger and better parts will no doubt come Yakira's way soon. Well, that's it from us for tonight. I'm Jasmine Patterson. Have a great Heroes Weekend. We'll see you next week. Jasmine Patterson's wardrobe and makeup is provided by Gibbons Company.